How do I transfer from Serato to Rekordbox? How do I transfer from Rekordbox to Traktor? How can I manage my music library? Where should I set hot cues in my tracks? How can I analyze my music library? Find missing tracks, find broken tracks, find lost files. All of these questions we get asked on a daily basis from DJs all around the world. And now there is one simple answer and one simple platform that can sort all of those questions. Let's go. Hi guys, welcome back to Crossfader. It is Lawrence James here and today it is about music management. Now, my music management is terrible and today I'm going to sort all of that out, fix my library, not only that, show you the incredible platform that is called Lexicon DJ. Lexicon is a professional music management system for DJs. It can allow you to clean up your library, convert one library to another, store all your tracks offline, upload all your tracks to a cloud system, locate duplicates, find lost tracks, and so much more. Now, first things first, big red warning. Before you do anything with Lexicon, please back up your library, however you back it up. It is essential, I can't stress it enough. You should be backing up you know, every day or once a week at least anyway. However, before you try this software, back your library up. That's my warning. So let's get into the Lexicon app. So open in the Lexicon app and it will look something like this. So up the top here is a player and down here in this list is all of the different sections within the app. So first things you need to do is, you can see here, this is my Serato library that's been imported. So let's start off with importing your library into Lexicon. So once you import your library, which I'll show you in a second, it's not going to import the tracks. It's going to import the track information. So where the track's stored and all the information around it, it's not transferring the MP3 file or the WAV file. So just bear that in mind. There is cloud storage where you can save the MP3 files, which I will come on to. So first things first, we need to import a library. So you go down here to, you press the sync button here, and then you go import tracks and playlists and we're importing them into Lexicon. So select your chosen software. Let's go Serato. It's going to find your Serato library. Now, down here on the right-hand side are all my Serato playlists. You can import the full library. Then you can click on Create Backup, and it'll create a backup of your Lexicon library before importing it. Then you can choose to merge it with the current library. If this is your first time, you won't have a current library. library. Um, I do, so I'm just going to import new tracks and playlists and start importing. It will then import all of your playlists from Serato, all the information of that into Lexicon, and it will show all of your playlists down here on the left-hand side. So now I have all of these tracks imported on the left-hand side here. You can go and search for different tracks. You can search by artist, just like you can in a standard Serato library. I've got all of my um, playlists down here. So let's say that I wanted to import my Rekordbox library into Serato or import a playlist from Rekordbox to Serato. It's very simple. So again, I go on this sync button here. I go to import tracks and playlists. Now I've selected Rekordbox 6 and here are all my Rekordbox playlists down here. So if I wanted to import my full library, I could do. Let's just say I want to import this R&B playlist. I'm going to create a backup, and again, it's backing up the data, the metadata of the file, not the MP3. And then I'm going to merge it with my current library, and only new tracks, I'll, I'll untick that for now. I want to, again, you can select all the fields, so if you want to bring over all the data, the beat grid, the label, etc., you can do that. And then I want both hot cues and memory cues as well. So we start importing this R&B playlist that has 17 tracks in it it will start to import it into your Lexicon library. So if I go to the top here, you can see R&B playlist, there's some R&B tunes in here. So that's good. So what we've done is gone to record box, found the playlist, we've put that into Lexicon library. Now to put that into our Serato library, we go to sync. In the sync to box, we go to Serato DJ. We just want to sync this R&B playlist. Again, you can do a full sync. So we go, R&B selected, 
We do the playlist, convert original keys. Again, you can you can add some mapping fields with energy. Um, you can add you know various tags and things that you want to copy across, but we'll leave that for now. And then we go sync to Serato DJ. Now this is an important part. This is now going to sync this playlist into your Serato library. So if you're doing a full sync of your record box library into Serato, it will kind of rewrite your whole Serato library. So just be careful on what you want to do. So we go to sync to Serato DJ. So now that is synced. So inside of my Serato, if I scroll to the bottom here, you can see it says R&B playlist. And here is all of my tracks that have come over from record box with the key information, with the BPM information, album title that has one, etc. So it is as simple as that. So if you're a person that wants to transfer a entire library of Recordbox Virtual DJ Tractor into another software, it is literally as simple as that. It'll take you between one and five minutes to do the entire thing. We are excited to be an official affiliate partner with Lexicon DJ. That means we can offer you, the Crossfader community, our exclusive discount. Use code CROSSFADER20 at checkout for 20% off your first month with any monthly plan or 20% off an annual plan. Let's get back to the video. We come on to smart fixes. Now for someone like me who has a terrible library of songs that I've collected over you know, 10, 15 years of DJing, I have some track titles that are just a mess. And here is where you can fix all of those things. We won't go into all of them, but you'll get the idea from the first few that I show you how quick and how easy it is to just clean up your library. So we go onto this magic wand tool here and we click on smart fixes. And these are the different categories we have. So the good thing about Lexicon is it does explain what everything does. So here, fix casing, this will scan for tracks that are all uppercase, all lowercase and fix them. So it's just a small tiny thing and I'll show you what it means is if I go to scan, you can see that for example, this Eve track here is all lowercase. Now, if I just click on this Eve track, let me blow your mind, and I click on confirm, what it's gonna do is, it will just add in, if I go to let me blow your mind here, it will just add in the capital letters at the beginning of each word. So again, it's just a super quick, and you can do this you know, on scale. I've just used a, a one track as an example, but you can do this for your entire library. Go back to smart fixes, Remove number prefix. This will scan for tracks with titles that start with numbers. So scan the tracks. If we go down 12 slow jams by Twister. So what it will do is just click confirm. And again, if we just look for slow jams, you can see it's removed the number from this. So again, you can do this to your entire catalog at once. And there is a load of these types of fixes within the smart fixing crate. Another great one is, you know, remove URLs. So when you download a song, usually from the internet, you will have a URL in the um, in the comments field. Search for the scan, you can see here, I've got all of these URLs. You can select all, confirm, you know, for example, on the while out track, we've got the wickedbase.com. So if we just remove them, confirm. And now, like I say, if I just go to while out, while out, it will just have removed, if I show you the comment section here, the comment section here, you can see it's removed it. Here's a really cool one. We can go on extract remixer, if we go on scan. So what we can do is, you see this remixer section here? Again, this is just a tidy up thing. These are all empty, but the actual name of the remixer, if we, we go on this track here, the freaks, the creeps, it's the vandalism remix. But if we just click on confirm here, and then we go to this, uh, what the creeps. If we go on show remixer, you can see that this track has now added the remixer into the remix column. Again, it's just little simple things like that that will really, really clean up your library. Let's go on to genre cleanup. So if you click on this icon again, genre cleanup. Now you can see here, there are just so many random genres that are in my columns, my genre column within my Serato library that I've imported. And what you can do is you can fix multiple genres of these at once. So you can see it's a whole mess. 
So what I mean by this, if we just look at this hip hop section here, I don't really need all of these different names for hip hop, hip hop rap. You know, there's so many variations of it. So what I can do is I can just click on all of these hip hop sections here. Um, hip hop, if we just click on the hip hop and rap ones and hip hop specifically, hip hop club, um, hip hop, hip hop rap, all of these sections that have different words or different spellings of hip hop or things that have dashes in them. If we click on all of these down here, we can group all of them into one section. So if we just go hip hop rap, it will give you some suggestions. If we just go for hip hop rap, confirm, then all of them tracks, which you can see down here is 801 tracks will now be grouped in my library to the hip hop genre column. So in the, column in Serato, if I just click on genre, it will then group all of them 801 tracks and put them all in one genre section. Remember, when you make changes, you're making changes within Lexicon. So to export all of these changes, you would go to the sync, you would go on full sync, sync to Serato DJ, and then you would sync all of this back to Serato. So then that will sync all of those changes into Serato. So when you go into Serato, all of these changes will have been made. Let's look at something called the queue generator, which will generate hot queues for you. And again, you can do this for more than one track at a time. So if I select these tracks here, um, stay by Z, um, and I go to right click on them, and then we go down to use, we can go to generate queue points. If you, if you use mixing key software, this, this does this as well. So it's not a new thing, but it's so handy to have it all in, all in one place in Lexicon. So you can set some parameters. So it will automatically want to set one, two, three, four, five, six cue points, and it will overwrite your existing cue points if you want to. You can change the algorithm to where the music changes or where it su suggests the drop is going to be. So, and you can also change the, color coordination here so if you want to if you want to rename something different if you don't like the word drop if you want to do you know intro instead of start that's fine you can do it in there and then you just click on start it does work a lot better with you know extended versions of tracks so as you can see see here we've got the intro we've got the drop we've got a breakdown We've got the second drop and then the end or the fade out of the track as well. So it won't always be 100% accurate with different tracks and different genres, but it is a great time saver. Another great feature is the fine tags and album artwork. So this will generally work on radio edits that are on Spotify and things like that. So if I click on it, what it's going to do is it's going to search Beatport, Spotify, Discogs and find missing tags and album artwork. So it's going to find the, the year, the label, the album. It's going to give a kind of danceability and energy, which we'll come on to in a second. So if we just click on search, as you can see here, it's recognized that this is an electronic and a pop song. It's given it an energy rating of seven, a danceability of seven as well. So again, just a really quick and useful tool, because what we can then do is we can then organize our tracks by energy within Lexicon and create playlists around danceability and energy, things like that. We can also click or right click and go to use and we can discover new tracks or find mixable tracks. So what we've just done there, we've just found the energy of the track. So we, we've got a 98 pop track. If we go to find mixable tracks, it will help you find the next track to mix in your entire library. So if we have a look within a BPM range of three, we can match the key if we want to. Then we can set some genres if we want it, if we want to have the pop, you know, dance pop genre or whatever. But if we just go on a quick generate here, you can see it's found tracks that will match with this BPM in your library. So anything within three BPM. What you can then do is, which is a great feature, you can just, you can just select all of these tracks and then you can go to save playlist so if we go to save as playlist mixable tracks with lush live by zara larson confirm and then you'll be able to save that playlist and then export it to serato or recordbox etc a super important part of lexicon is this utility tab at the top here if you click on it you can see you can find duplicates find unused files find broken tracks and find lost files 
And this is so powerful and how you could really organize and get your music library looking good. Find duplicates is a great way to save some space on your library. So it's going to scan all the files in your library and show you a list of duplicate tracks. After that, you can delete them, keep them, do whatever you want to do with them. So when it's scanned it, it will automatically lock your duplicates so you can't accidentally delete them. So right here is where all my duplicate tracks are. So you can see here, if we just go to the Freaks, the Creeps Vandalism, you can see I've got two versions of this track. Now it's locked, so I just click on this unlock button. And what I can do is I can select one of these. And you can also unlock all, unlock all again. If I lock all, it will lock it, unlock all. And once you unlock all, these green ones here are the tracks that will be affected. So if I just unlock this, you can see this green track here. You will then go to review. You can see that the track is here. Then what I'm going to do is once I click confirm, it will it won't delete it permanently, but it will put it in the lexicon archive ready to be deleted if you want it to. So once you click confirm, it's going to archive a track to your library. Then if you want to find it, hover over this play button, go to archives. And again, it will be in here in this archives folder here, this track. If I select it and I go clean up selection, it, you can have delete from hard drive, you can move it to a folder or you can do nothing. So I'm happy to delete this from hard drive, delete it. And like I say, you can do that on mass. Just be careful that you're not deleting something that you really need. But yeah, if you want to delete all of the duplicate tracks at once, you can do that. Just remember that if you've got duplicate tracks and you're playing a track from Serato, for example, Serato might think it's in one folder then you might delete it from that folder and then you'll have to relocate the file. So just be careful of the ones that you're deleting, but you can see how quick it is. Find unused files. Now, again, if you are a DJ, a working DJ, you will have downloaded thousands and thousands of tracks and most of them you don't actually need. I'm so guilty of this. I don't. I download, you know, 100 tracks a week maybe sometimes and I hardly ever use any of them. So once you've selected the folder that you want to find unused files from, you just hit scan. And you can see here, it's found six gigs worth of tracks that I've never used with inside of this folder. Now, just be aware that once you delete something from this section, it is deleting the music file. So you can't get that back. It's removing it from your computer. So just for the purposes of this example, if I just find some tracks on here. Um, so we've got if I just select these three, which I'm happy to get rid of, you would just select them and click delete from this computer. Again, it will just warn you that this cannot be undone. So just make sure that you're happy to delete all these, click confirm, and then it's done. They are gone. And it's a very similar situation with finding broken tracks and finding lost tracks. It's the same process as the previous two methods. Let's talk about backing up your music using Lexicon. Now there's two different backups. There is a database backup, and there is a cloud storage. So a database backup will back up all of the metadata of the tracks on your lexicon. To do this, you can just go to backup, database backup, create a backup, and you can see here, it'll just create a backup of all the information that is on your lexicon library. Just click on create backup, and it will do it for you. So for example, if you DJ with a external hard drive, and you take that hard drive to another computer, and you wanna edit within Lexicon, you can put that external hard drive into that other computer, restore from here, restore your database backup, and then you can carry on within Lexicon DJ software. Again, that isn't backing up your actual MP3 files, your music files, but you can do that with cloud storage. So Lexicon has a server, and with the pro plan, you can select a few tracks here, you can, right click, go to upload to cloud, click on upload to cloud, you'll see this little arrow section here. And then it's going to upload the actual music files onto the cloud. So that in, if you then go to a different computer, you can then download the actual files onto another computer. And then you know, go out and do whatever you want with it, go and DJ with that computer if you if you want to. So that's the two different backup sections within Lexicon DJ. Let's talk about the tag section within our Lexicon. Now what the tag section will do is it will give you all of these 
sections here genre mood vocals timing mix um, components etc to really allow you to create specific playlists so if i just go to my library and i go to this clubhouse folder if i select all right click and i go to edit i can go to switch to recipes and then in this tag section here i'm going to go add tags now it will allow me to select different fields within this tag section so if i go down and i'm like okay this is a house folder so we go to genre house if i keep going down it will give me a mood so all of these are club um kind of club upbeat you can click upbeat maybe vocals they're definitely all vocals upbeat um keep going down you've got timings do they have intros are they pre-party are they fillers are they peak hours i'll click on peak hour um, do they have a cappella intros or outros? Are they clubs? Are they extended? So you can select all of these different um, tags and then click save. If I go to tags, you'll see here that it's given me all of the tags in here. So if I go to tags now and I go to, for example, house and I go show tracks, it will show all of these house tracks. But you can see that you can really get specific if you go in and label and tag your different tracks you can then go okay i want a playlist for a party tonight that i'm doing it's a house upbeat house party um, i need vocal tracks um, i need peak hour tracks show my tracks and there we go all of my tags are in there then i can just save this playlist and i can call this you know house party playlist Hit save and then that will save ready for you to export it to your record box or your tractor or your Serato. Moving on to some other features, it has a track matcher. So this track matcher will help you find tracks in your library very quickly. So if I'm on Spotify and I'm listening to this house workout playlist, I'm going to go ahead, get the link to the playlist, put it in here, click on find. So it's loaded in this playlist. What I'll then do is click search. And now it has found the tracks that I actually have that have um, names within that playlist so that I can go and play. The ones that are not found will come in this list, but the ones you, you have found, you can select these and you can you know, add these to a playlist if you want to. We've also got the charts section within Lexicon. So this will allow you to see the charts within Apple Music, iTunes, Shazam, historical charts, Beatport, Billboard, Billboard charts. And it's a great way just to keep on top of music. So if we go to Beatport charts and we go, okay, what is the top tracks in the house chart? You can then click on this top one here and this will take you directly to the track for you to be able to go find it, buy it and download it. Then we have a track finder. So in this cart section here, if you're on Spotify and you want this track by Biscuits, you can go ahead, find the song link, drag the song link in there, hit enter, hit search. Then it's going to find the tracks and you can see here it's found it on Beatport, it's found it on iTunes, it's found it on Juno, it's found it on TrackSource. It even has the price, the release date, the artist. Then you can just click on the link and it will take you directly to that track for you to go and buy it. Finally, this section is just a bit of fun and it's kind of the analysis of your entire library. So you can see that I've imported 15,000 tracks. I've got 174 playlists and the artists with the most tracks, you've got Drake, Kanye, etc. Most played artists, new artists in the last 30 days. You've got, this is like the genre distribution. So you can see here that my I don't have my genre section filled in very well on Serato, so that's why it's got none. But you can see here, I've got mainly hip hop, um, and it's just a nice little feature to have a look at. I've got mainly tracks that are uh, between 125 BPM, tracks between 70 and 75 BPM. So again, just a little bit of fun for you to analyze your library inside of Lexicon. So of course, Lexicon isn't free. Let's go through the pricing. So there is a basic plan which will give you all lab library management features, full library conversion and community support. And there is free demos to each section as well. But I would urge you to go and get the pro plan, which gives you priority support, cloud-based backup, which is an incredible thing. Unlimited cloud storage as well. And there is a mobile app coming soon. So for the basic, it is 15 euros or $15 a month. 
And then for the Pro, it's $15 for the first month and then $35 each and every month. If you're thinking, okay, if I buy a Lexicon for a month and I make changes and then I cancel my subscription, will all of them changes be gone? No, because like I say, what you're doing is you're making changes within Lexicon, but then you are exporting all of them changes into your chosen software, whether that's Rekordbox, Virtual DJ, Engine Prime, Serato. So once you've exported them into that library, that library is then safe. If your subscription ends, that's absolutely fine because you've already exported your library. If you make changes inside of Lexicon and then you don't export it to Serato, for example, then obviously them changes won't have been made. And then when your subscription ends, you won't, you won't be able to access them changes. As you can tell, I am a huge, huge fan of this system. I really wish I had something like this when I started DJing, but even now it's perfect for somebody like me who needs to organize my library because I've got, you know, bad prefixes. I've got terrible playlist management. I, I've got thousands of tracks that I've never played. I've got lost tracks. So for me now, I can just spend a few minutes, half an hour, an hour, just completely organizing my library all within one app that's super, super easy to navigate. I honestly think that if you're a working DJ, you should at least try this and just see how quick and how easy you can organize and manage your music library. Again, like I said at the top, make sure you back up your library before you make any changes. You should be backing up your library once a week at least, if not every other day. But make sure you back up your library before you make any changes with Inside Lexicon DJ. So I hope that's helped you out guys in some way. Please, 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 if it has, smash the like button and go ahead and comment on this video if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe to Crossfader as well. I'll see you again in another video.